I'm encouraged, I'm amazed at what we've been able to accomplish. I've never had this kind of experience before. And the crew, I mean, we've got this very compact crew doing a lot of work and pulling it off. I feel like I've seen some really uh, amazing performances. Energy's up in three, two, one, action! I became involved with Mechanic almost a decade ago. Um, the writer, Daniel Noah, is my closest friend, and he and I were roommates uh, in New York back in 97, 98, and he had written it back in 94. And uh, I always liked the script. Years later, after kind of putting myself through my own like short film boot camp, uh, I was ready to move on to a feature, and he said, well, you know, why don't you do Mechanic? And I said, hell yeah. Got involved with this project uh, very shortly before the uh, shoot started, actually. I uh, heard about it and uh, had a phone call with uh, Josh, the director, about 10 days before the shooting started. And uh, we got along on the phone and, uh, and like had very similar ideas to how it could be approached. Uh, I had read the script before, so uh, a couple of times, and, and I really liked the script, and, and I felt like it could be a very interesting story and I also a very visual story. And I actually offered to immediately come up and see him in Philadelphia. So I jumped on a train the next morning, came up here, uh, we sort of looked at some locations together and, uh, and sort of like discussed the logistics of how it could be approached and things like that. And kind of agreed that we would do it together. I, I met with Josh Waller, the director, uh, a few months ago in Los Angeles and I was just really excited about the script. And it was, you know, really just an amazing script. I was really passionate about it, and so I met with him and told him that I really, really wanted to do it, and uh, that I that I was, you know, that I could do it, and, and uh, thank God he believed me. Three, two, one, here it comes! Josh Waller's done a fantastic job uh, crewing and casting this project. I mean, it's a, it, it's. You know, it's definitely an artistic, independent film, um, and it has a lot of. It's had a lot of hurdles to climb financially, and he's been able to do a lot with a little, which is attributed to his leadership and uh, the crew. Everybody that's here is here because they're passionate about the project and they're on board with with doing something new and interesting, and, and everyone's hustling their butts off to to get it done. So. Uh, I'm encouraged, I'm amazed at what we've been able to accomplish uh, with so little. What the fuck? Hey man, I'm so sorry. I don't All right, give a shit. You like raping little girls, huh? You fucking pedophile. What the wrong with you? You know what? Take it up with your little boy, your buddy, when he comes back down in a minute. You know, Josh's intensity and Josh's uh, desire uh, really fuels a project like this because a crew is not going to go through the inconvenience of what a lot of the shoot can be if the material is not good and if there's not a clear, strong, determined vision. Yeah, I, you know what, I, I actually felt a nice connection with Josh the very first time I met him, which was probably two, two years ago, maybe even three years ago here in Philly. You know, he showed me drawings that he'd done, images of what how he saw the movie. and. I, I, I loved what he was, what he was thinking. No, you got him wrong. He's helping kids out now, man. They like look up to him. And... He's a fucking killer. What the fuck is he doing back here? He's helping kids get off the street, man. Helping them. He's fucking helping them. Yeah, he's setting up with his fucking old school. I don't know. I, I really like the character of Mechanic. You know, it, it was originally and still kind of is a throwback to the films of the 70s that that made me want to be, you know, involved with the film in the first place, like The French Connection and, and Bullet, and the, the Conversation, Dog Day Afternoon. I think there's a lot to be excited about about this film. I mean, to see David Morse in a leading role, first of all, you know, this is, it's such an incredible step out role for him, as for an actor that you should, you're used to seeing, you know, as this, always the supporting lead, to see him in this role, it's like, how come this didn't happen sooner? You're pretty tough. Staring in a nuts old cop, you tough? Yeah, I'm tough. Right. What stood out to me the most has really been 
uh, the performance of the actors. I've, I feel like I've seen some really uh, amazing performances, uh, and I think that's going to be the, the heart of the film, and I, and, uh, and I think that's going to uh, make it something that's really worthwhile. Yeah, I, I like this role a lot. I, li I like this role a lot, and I like the script a lot. And part of what I like about this, this role is the secrets that, that he carries, and that's really what makes him interesting and compelling, I think. You got suck on that! Suck on that, you fucking sick son of a bitch! This is something, you know, really, it's learning about this man and what he lives every day. What he, what mechanic lives every day is, is, is sad and tragic, that it's heartbreaking. And that's probably my favorite element. Uh, I can't say there's a favorite scene that I have, but, um, but really the humanity that the character of uh, Eugene Mechanic, brilliantly played by David Morris, has, uh, it, it just makes you, it makes you feel for him. It makes you want to see him survive it and see him champion over it. Um, and so you root for him. Why didn't you tell people about me? About what happened that night, what I did. I've never had this kind of experience before. I mean, there's a synergy. I would call it a synergy between, with, the, the absolutely the cast. Uh, and, and, you know, we're all so excited and passionate to be a part of the movie. And there, is, there seems to be a kind of kismet happening with this film. And there's a lot of good things happening. And everything that happens on film is, it's really good. What do you want from me? We're right in the midst of shooting a sequence on the 10th floor. In the sequence, a mechanic is following a suspect into a hotel room. And he shoulders himself into the room with a weapon drawn and flies a perp who escapes. And so he has to make a mad dash through the hotel to try to catch the man. It requires stunt coordination, stunt actors, um, you know, specialized training and specialized weapons, particularly a really very talented stunt coordinator. Ah! One thing that feels cool is that uh, I think this film is going to be uh, very much about Philadelphia. It's very clearly like this is where it takes place and Philadelphia is almost like a character in a film and I, I think that's kind of cool and, and I think it's worked to our advantage to, to really not try and make it just any place, but actually uh, uh, make it specific to the neighborhoods and the vibe and the feeling of, of Philadelphia. We were going to film it here in Philadelphia, and I like filming movies in Philadelphia that are Philly, that that are shot for Philadelphia, not Philadelphia for New York. I love Philadelphia. It's been such a blast shooting here. You know, the locations are amazing, the crews are amazing. You know, the, the Philadelphia Police Department helped us out, you know, like SEPTA, every, every step along the way, everybody's just been helping us out to make the best movie we can. It's been fantastic, yeah, I, I grew up here. Uh, I grew up uh, out in Bucks County, so it's crazy, it's taken me 10 years to, to be able to work back home, but uh, it's been fantastic. Roach Coach, when Cecil be in 19. The film is called Mechanic, and uh, we're gonna welcome to our studio David Morse, Corey Monteith, and the director, Josh Waller. Yeah, hi. Hey. Thank you. It, uh, the it, city, the city has just been incredibly awesome absolutely. and generous just, and supportive uh, in this film. You know, the mayor's office, the mayor himself. You know, the film SEPTA, office. It's just SEPTA, Philadelphia the neighborhoods. It's really been, yeah. What a smart move to do that to bring. And you could we we know the chronology. Remember when the the, the switch was flicked and Philadelphia si finally said, "Come on." There's a feeling like there's something special happening here. That's it's pretty, it's pretty contagious, you know, the feeling. Murder at 17. Who? I don't know that guy. Where are you running, Lois? Just want to talk? What's he been doing since he got out of the can? Where the fuck is it? I, 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 I saw him last week. He's clean.